G'day everyone. I've been meaning to redo the how to buy a Syringe Master clone video. Uh, I've got a bit of a better way. The original video that I did was when I f was first sort of researching it and, um, and there's actually a better way to do it. Basically, you should get the collector voltage to 7 volts and um, I'll show you how I've got that set up. This is how I biased my germanium boosters, the four that I sold. I don't have any left, but um, yeah, that's how I biased um, the four germanium boosters that I built. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So I've got it all set up. This is the Mad Beam Range Master and basically the way that you um, that you bias it is you want to get 7 volts on the collector of the germanium transistor which is this little thing here. Um, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit cl closer. Um, and I've got pretty much everything on here is stock um, as, as the circuit should be except I've got for R2 I've put in a 5k potentiometer and for R1 I've put in a 100k I'd assume, yep, 100k potentiometer for that one. So I need to get 7 volts on the collector so I just adjust those two R1 and R2 until I've got 7 volts on the collector and I'll just show you that now. So I just have to set that up so you can see the screen on the multimeter. But basically, you just put um, uh, you're just measuring the collector, the collector voltage. So you just put the probe on the collector there, and the other probe on negative, of course. And then uh, the ideal voltage is reportedly seven volts. So you adjust these two potentiometers until you get it to seven volts, and you'll find that one probably moves around more than the other. So you can sort of get it pretty accurate by using the two, the two potentiometers and just get it sort of on 7 volts um, and that will be you'll find that one won't move as far as the other so that's why you kind of need the two the two potentiometers um, but it's just an approximate, I mean you don't have to have it exactly on 7 volts but they reckon that around 7 volts is the ideal um, the ideal, vol ideal voltage and I also found that before I did this method um, uh, I, I I just biased it by ear, I didn't actually bias it to the voltage and I found that after I did bias it to the voltage, I actually liked it better where at 7 volts than, than before um, when I was just basically randomly picking the voltage and I found that the, the three that I'd actually biased were, were all over the place, one was on 1 volt, the other one was on 6 volts and I found that once I did them all on 7 volts it was the results were consistent and um, I thought they actually sounded better. Uh, which is usually contradictory, contradictory to how I do biasing. I usually go by ear and, and not so much by the voltages, but um, for this one it was actually better to do that. So once you've biased it, you can just take off the um, the potentiometers, just take the lugs out and, and measure the, the resistance between them and then get a, get a resistor that's close to that value and pop it in the circuit and you're done. So I, I think that's a better way of, of biasing it than the, than the other way that I was that I was um, I previously said to do it. So yeah, um, hopefully that helps you bias your range master and um, yeah, give it a go. It's a good it's a good boost. I I I really like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.